Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. How are you guys doing? Good, good. I'm good too. Guess we're doing Peachy today. As you can tell by the title, we're doing another review on Love is Blind. We're going to be talking about the new episode 6 to 8, as I recall correctly. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but I remember 6 to 8. We're going to be talking about it. It's just full of drama, full of hot mess. Let's just get right into it, shall we? So right off the bat, the episode starts with Zach and Bliss. And they're having a, like a coffee shop and they're talking. So it's basically uh, Zach saying, hey, I messed up. I was wrong. I was da -da 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 this and this. And Bliss is just over here like, yeah, you were wrong. Yeah, I was heartbroken for you, this and da 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 So basically, they were hashing out and stuff like that. And Zach was like, are you going to give me another chance? And Bliss is like, I don't know, maybe. And Loki, I was wishing that she wouldn't because Bliss truly deserved better. Because not only she was right, she deserves more than someone was doubting her. Like, from right off the bat, she says, like, if you choose Arena, that shows your judgment of character. What's it called? Judgment of character. And she was right. He chose Arena, even though she forgot his birthday, trying to steal a candle from her, and trying to start a drama like I was doing. This is nearly ruined the surprise. For Bliss, like, and you still chose her? In my opinion, Bliss can do so much better. So during that scene, I was just hoping that she wouldn't give him another chance. Like, I understand she, she was all in her feelings, be like, yeah, this is what you look. Because after all, this was the first time they were meeting each other. So I understand that. But, I, like, a part of me was, like, hoping they would just, like, wake up and be like, eh, no. But unfortunately, that's not what happened. They continued to go on days, and they went on, like I said, they went on days, and they got engaged. Zach proposed on a boat and got engaged. My reaction to that was just, why? Now, personally, for me, I don't think Bliss should give him any time of day, because it, to me, it's like, oh, she was the second choice, and he was just trying to find a way to stay on the show. And this and that, just looking for love in there. She was, oh, here's my second choice. Let me go to her instead. That's what it came off to me because she is technically a second choice. Nor she should be. But technically she is a second choice. And Zach just, honestly, he could do better. I feel like he needs to take a step away. Look at himself for a second. See where he went wrong instead of jumping a relationship to a relationship because he was literally just engaged like a week prior to asking Bliss to marry and now you're jumping to another engagement because you feel the connection? No! You're still in your feelings. You didn't take a step back. For what's happened and process it and just like let me jump and it's not something you can just jump into like marriage is a serious thing engagement is a serious thing and it feels like they're not even treating like it's just like a game to them really like this show has become a, like a game at this point so I wish Bliss said no because I truly think she deserved better but I don't have any hard feelings towards Zach I just think they don't belong together, that he needs time to himself, that she can do better, because she's gorgeous. She is really gorgeous. And that's like the little recap of what happened. The next people we're going to talk about is Quan and Chelsea. <sighs> Quan? Ooh. Before we get into him, we're going to go out to Chelsea first. I truly feel bad for her because you can just tell she is all in for Quan. She's straight up all in for him. And it makes me so upset. It looks like she's giving it all. She has this and this. Like she has all the qualities 
But the man is just not giving back her feelings. And it's just the man is not giving back the feelings that she's giving out. And it makes me so upset because you can just tell why she doing She's putting effort. Like, me and the whole dad thing, like, she wanted to go so well. And he just made it about himself. And I'm just like, sir, you need to listen to what she's saying. Don't interrupt her. Listen. Because to me, that scene is just like, oh, this is about me. I have to do the effort. I'm the one presenting myself. And I was just like, no, you're presenting both. Like, you're both in situation. This was an experiment for both of you. It's not like a normal case where, oh, Dad, can you be my boyfriend? It's not in that case at all. You guys are engaged. So, therefore, you are presenting both. Both of yourselves. Like, that, I'm surprised I didn't come across to him. And I was just like, okay. And let's talk about the apartment of his. That apartment of his, golly, that was just, uh, it was so messy and disgusting. I'm like, how do you live with the, yourself like that? Like, I understand if you're busy and all that, this guy lives remotely, so he has plenty of time to take care of his apartment. But no, he chose not to. There was like dirty socks around, dirty underwear. There was just like clothes everywhere. It was just like a mess. And I'm like, this is how you present yourself. Like to me, that shows what kind of person you are and how you take care of yourself. Clearly, you don't take care of yourself well enough. And it makes me so upset because this is like a very nice apartment and he just makes it look like it's not nice and i'm over here like what like really like no one's gonna pick after you like you have to take care of yourself and when chelsea was like looking at this apartment i could i i knew what she was thinking she was like holy crap what am i getting myself into you could just see in her eyes and that apartment was just disgusting. You could tell the difference between all the men on the show of their apartments. Because if you look at Brett, his apartment was clean as... Oh, it was clean. It was maintained. Like, it was clean. Like, he took care of himself. Marshall, Paul, all their apartments were clean. And, I'm just, and there was one. Ah. If, if that's not a red flag, then I don't know what to tell you because that speaks volumes about how someone is. I don't like Quam still. I do not like him. I don't think he is all in for the relationship. He's still paying for Micah. And the fact that he was like, I still have feelings for you to Micah on her birthday. Chelsea's birthday was just like, how dare you? Why are you still in the relationship? Break up with her. Stop being so messy. Like, all this is so very unnecessary. Like, if you do not feel for Chelsea, Chelsea, then you need to be a man and say it. Stop being a little boy and pouncing around for Micah. Like, literally, if you see one of the scenes of the previous episodes, he was just <laughs> being all cuddly in that pool scene, and I was just like, are you for real? A grown man being all cuddly for a girl that's not even his? Please. Gross. That's just real gross and unfaithful. Chelsea can do better. And should be doing better. In one of the scenes in the show, Paul and Micah were talking. And Micah was telling Paul, like, hey, before we left away from Mexico and was coming back to, I think it was, like, Texas is where they're living right now. I'm not sure. I completely forgot. 
And she was telling him, hey, Arena took me aside and was like, hey, I want Paul, basically. And I'm so interested in Paul. I have feelings for him and all that. And she was, like, questioning Paul, like, oh, did something happen that I don't know about? And Paul come out, was like, yeah, she was being all flirty with me, touching my leg and all that. And I was just like, no, which was true. Paul was, like, saying, no, I don't want that. I am only for, you know, Micah, which I, like, props to Paul being a man about it. Be like, no, unlike someone else. And he was basically, it was like, no, I wasn't doing anything. It was all her, and it felt me uncomfortable because I am in this relationship with you. And Mike, I was like, oh, okay. And then there was like a scene where they both me up, and they were having a conversation like, how dare you be after my man, and stuff like that. And that scene was so funny to me. Not only... Micah was doing the exact same thing with someone else, man. But the shit, but how the table has turned. Like, I thought that was really funny. Like, two mean girls at each other and calling each other best friend. Like, you can see the relationship between the two. Like, you can tell they don't have respect for each other. But they are together because they are mean to people. You can just tell. It's just funny to me. And also, I do want to say, you gotta be a, a straight weirdo to think it's inappropriate to tell your friend, hey, I'm interested in your partner. Like, you have to be a level top notch weirdo for that. Like, who told you that was right? Like, you need to keep your mouth shut, keep your feelings to yourself, and don't say anything about it. That is not okay nor appropriate. You should not be seeing that. Like, you had your chance. You blew it. Deal with it. Won't come with the consequences of your own actions. Karma's the thing. It comes right back at you at any time. Now, since we're still on the topic of Micah and Paul, I do want to mention the scene with the whole friend thing where they meet Micah's best friends or close friends, whatever you call them. First of all, why are they, what's up with the season of having straight up awful people casted as members and having awful friends? Because for what I'm seeing, it's just like another mess to another mess. Like, it's a bunch of high school stuff, and there's like four people that are actually mature. My got friends, like, saying that, oh, she basically has ruined all her relationship because she didn't prove that... Micah's friend's word is more important, and Paul was like, I don't care. I mean, that's the perfect response. Like, why do I have to care about what your friend says about me? She's not in the relationship, so why does her opinion matter over anyone else? And honestly, he was very right to say that, because the reaction of their friend, she got mad. Like, honey... Girl, this is not high school. The fact you're so into Micah's relationship is also very weird. And it seems very controlling, in my opinion. In the end, when she was like, he's not it for you, I was just like... And Micah was just defending her. It's just like, baby, who are you with? Her or him? Because it's... It was very high school behavior in that scene to me. And it can... I get... Ugh. Bro, this whole season already is just like a mess. And it's like a bunch of high school drama that is not needed. And there's like one simple conversation could have been done. But now it's just a bunch of telephone. Like the season already, I don't like it. It's just like... Ugh. There's more... Like, there's still more that I still have to talk about, but it's just, like, that's, like, the bare minimum of the show so far. There's just a lot more. So, moving on, that's what I have to say for that piece and that couple. Paul can do better. Micah, grow up. Now, we're moving on. So, we're going to be talking about Tiffany and Brett. 
as per usual, I love them. They're the great couple. They're the most mature couple I've ever seen in the show. Like, just the way Brand was like, if you need more space, we can just move up. I was just like, oh my god, what a man. <laughs> Literally, I'm serious. It's just like, the way he was just giving solutions for Tiffany, it was just like, it made my heart happy. Like, he was just like, oh, you're uncomfortable with this? We can do this. Or he was talking about brand like, or it's that roommate situation, blah, blah, blah. I was just like, oh my god. And the whole family meeting was so sweet, too. I was just like, I hope they make it. If they don't make it, I'm gonna be so upset because... They seem like a legitimate couple, and it just makes my heart so happy. Like, I enjoy watching them. Like, I hope they make it to the end, and if something happens, I'm going to be very upset. Because they're, like, a good couple for each other. Like, the diamond, and just top-notch for me. <sighs> Moving on, who else I forgot? Oh! Oh my god, I completely forgot about this couple last time. Jackie and Marshall. I f completely forgot to mention them on my last video. I don't know how that was just out of my head. I was just like, oh my god. First of all, Marshall, he's a good man. Like, this man who's patient, he's caring, he is trying. In the relationship where you have Jackie is a hot mess. At first, I sympathized with her. I was like, oh, okay. I feel bad for her. It seems like she was going through something really tough. And to me, it seems like she didn't have a lot of support back home. And then that no one has her back, really. And then she was only taking care of herself. Like, at first, I thought to it. But at the scenes go on and I see more of her behavior, I'm just like, girl, you need... To take care of yourself first before you get into an relationship. Because to me now you're coming off as toxic. And you're putting all your emotions on him. And you're being like awful to this guy. Like you can tell he's trying to be so patient. But in that scene where he's just like I can't do anymore. And just say what he said. And the way she just like turns it back on him. I'm like no, 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 no. Your reaction cause to this consequences. Like, you can't constantly be crying, yelling this net to your partner and expect them to be constant patient and caring for so long. Like, nope. That's not how it works. It's a two-way street. Both have to be caring. Both have to communicate. It's not just one person. If my nose keeps another and I see snoring outside, I'm currently sick. And I can't drink water or anything until Ramadan, okay? This is why I watch the show. So, as I was saying, it's a two-way street. Communication has to go both ways. You cannot constantly put your emotion on one person and expect them to take it all in. No, you need to work on yourself. And I do not like Jackie. To me, she comes off very, very toxic. And the way she was acting around Jazz was very... It was very gross. Like, the fact you haven't said I love you to Marshall proves everything to how you feel about the man. Like, if you don't like him, break it off. Because Marshall can do better. And he this man was trying his absolute best. And she's just like, whatever. And just crying about everything. Oh, I'm not feeling the vibe. This is so I'm like, shut up. Like, you're too negative. Like, enough. Coffee. Be quiet. Go get some help. You need it. I'm trying to think if I missed any couples, but I don't think I missed any couples, and I pretty much touch on, like, the biggest thing that happened in the episodes. Yeah, I pretty much think I covered it all. And if you guys have any opinions, thoughts, or anything, do you agree or disagree with me, let me know in the comments below. I'm curious to know what you guys think, because I know there's other people that watch the show that have been talking on Twitter. And their conversation was just going. And speaking of Twitter, if you guys want to know how I felt as I was watching the episodes, check out my Twitter. It's in the description box. They'll tell you everything. And...
yeah, just follow them on my social media if you want to, and that's pretty much it. So, stay hydrated, have a good night, good morning, just have a good one, okay? And, 